at one, at two, at two and a half. Good morning, Fast Trackers, and hello, hello, hello. Bring the camera up, uh, Mr. Chute. How's that? Fast track. How was your weekend? It went that away. <laughs> Piano. I love the piano. This is it. Well, a lot. <laughs> I just, it, the piano is fantastic, isn't it? We all love the piano. It, microphone's working. Can everybody, t let, howdy, howdy, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, hello, Jim. Hello, Peter. Hello, Chris. Uh, hello, Peter from Hungary. Ah, and Mark, Mark, you've been on before. Good on you, Mark. Friends. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, g'day, Jeffrey. From the Alamo City. <laughs> John Wayne. Were they talking about changing the John Wayne Airport to something else? What's going on over there? Stephen, I didn't know what I was going to do today, as usual, until I saw what you wrote. Yeah. Motivation. Motivation. How do we... What makes us do stuff, you know? Well, I love the piano. So I'm going to go over and do it, aren't I? I'm going to go over and play it. And I know you love the piano too. But sometimes you just don't want to do it. You, you just don't do it. Um, and I went through that period. I didn't even want to do that. And I, I've done that a billion times, you know. I mean, it makes me feel great. But sometimes I just don't want to do it. Just want to make sure the sound's working. Is everything working? Andrea? Good. Thanks, Andrea. Oops. A little bit of peanut butter there. <laughs> no, I don't eat peanut butter in the early morning. Motivation. What motivates us to do stuff? You know, some people just do it every day and others let things slide. You know what? I'm very unfit at the moment. Usually I go for a walk at 6.30. I go for a walk down to the beach uh, and I walk along the beach, along the headland, watch the sun come up, <clears throat> walk around to the other headland, walk up 217 steps um, all these 30 year olds pass me and, and I get up the top there and then uh, lovely view then I walk down the other side past the uh, baths th then I jog through I j just do this little 20 minute sprint through the um, through the little reserve there where there's a bandstand uh, and then I walk along the promenade again say hello to my old friends and then um, I walk up the main street back home and then jog up the hill to my house, which is, is a pretty steep hill just outside here. Haven't been doing it. Haven't been doing it. 
not motivated. <laughs> Help! There's all sorts of motivations. There's one main reason. This is my this is my re main reason. Uh, the the outcome of this is <clears throat> don't tell anybody, but um, you know, I put on weight. That's it. I put on weight. You probably have a look at the video. So go back and look through some of the old videos. I put on weight, but <clears throat> that's okay because next week I'm going to get into it again. I'm going to draw up a plan. I'm going to get stuck into it. Um, the school holidays are over. There's a motivation. The school holidays are over. All the students are going to be coming back online again. I've got to get my act together. These last two weeks, no, nobody's been coming to the studio, so I can get slack. But there's another reason why I'm slack at the moment. I just wanted to help you out with motivation, and it's not too bad to be slack sometimes. Uh, see that thing over there? Can you see it? Yes, you can. That's a new computer. You remember I was having all that trouble a couple of weeks ago? Touch wood, touch wood. Well, the old computer had run its, run its course. It was out of steam. It was overheating, all sorts of silly things. Still there, aren't you, buddy? Um, so I got a new computer. But, gee, man, you know... <laughs> In the old days, a, a music teacher or a piano teacher had a piano and some books. That's pretty well it. Then they started playing records and cassettes and so you could hear what the other people sounded like. And then the internet came in so you could look at other people, so you could motivate your students to, hey, look at this, that's what we're aiming for, motivation. And so I'm motivated not to go out and spend my time down there, but motivated to get this up and running because I've got so many things. I'm doing video on there. I do professional recordings on there. I do books. I do websites, uh, choir stuff, all sorts of things. And it all has to work. Um, and when you update, it, uh, it doesn't, sometimes doesn't work. So oh, that's my motivation for getting that going. Now, getting motivated for playing the piano though, okay. Okay, we'll go back. Getting motivated for playing the piano. When was the first time I got motivated for playing the piano? First time would have been because I just wanted to go over and play it. Probably trying to get out of job, doing a job around the house or something. Went over and just played stuff like this. Um. So why was I motivated to sit down and play that? Because I wanted to. Because I wanted to. I just loved it. Then something happened. My music teacher thought I had a little bit of talent. And he suggested that I become a music teacher too. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but I had nothing else in mind. Other than join the Beatles, but there was already that was already they'd already broken up. So um, I became a music teacher. But to become a music teacher, the motivation was if I didn't pass the audition, who knows what was going to happen to my life. So I had to get up to sixth grade standard in two years. And uh, my music teacher showed me what to do. We started off with third or fourth grade pieces. Manuel, you're watching. I hated it. It was it was bad. Um, but I had no choice. I had no choice. The motivation was the end game. I had to pass that audition. Um, so it was extremely frustrating. So that was my motivation. I was made to do stuff. Now we're all adults here, and you're not made to do anything. So how do you get motivation to do what you're doing in your everyday, you know, little pieces? A 
Okay, I'll show you. Playing the piano can be a pretty lonely business. <clears throat> this thing is called a flute. Now, I'm not a flautist. You can tell, can't you? I've got a violin over there too. And a saxophone, clarinet. What else is over there? Trumpet, guitars. Now, all those instruments, uh, except for the guitar, you don't really just play on your own. You really have to find other friends to play with. Like, if you play a flute, you need someone who's going to play, accompany you, accompany you. So. Um, Okay, so the piano player would accompany you on the flute. So the flautist was never really that lonely because you used to play with other people or you'd play in an orchestra or, or, a, or a band or a small group or whatever. But piano players... Players can sit on their own forever. <laughs> yeah. It can be a lonely business. And when you're alone, sometimes, you know, you've only got yourself to contend with, you know, and you're, you're the boss of yourself. And so you tend to make your own rules and sometimes you just don't want to do them. So what am I saying? I'm saying, I don't know if you can see this bits of paper on the wall over there. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. I'm going to bring one of those bits of paper over here. Okey dokey. <laughs> I've had this uh, group. Uh, this is one of the groups that I've got going. Uh, I've got a lot of adult students, and uh, I, I put them together in little groups, and we perform. It's it's fantastic. And we've had this group called Vegas Nerve for many years now. It's gone through different different um, uh, ways of uh, putting it together. And this is our set list. Yeah, I don't know if you can see all that. You know, we've got Listen to the Music by the Doobie Brothers, Friday I'm in Love by the Cure, Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty, Weakness in Me by Joan Armour Trading, Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater, Fragile by Sting, Let There Be Love by Nat King Cole, Me, Myself, uh, Joan Arbor Trading, Better Man by, who was that, Pearl Jam, um, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton, I Can See Clearly Now by Jimmy Clift or Johnny Nash, um, Only You by Yazoo, uh, Show Up is an original by Samantha, Two of Us is by Supertramp, um, Cup Song is from the, so from the movie uh, per Pitch Perfect, uh, Amanda is a song I sing which is an original, Closer to Fine is by the India Go Girls, I think. Uh, Summer Breeze, that's a great song. That's, um, what is, who, who did that? Seals and Croft. When You Walk in the Room, um, that's an old Searchers song from the 60s, redone by a guy from um, uh, Genesis. Just What I Needed is The Cars. Uh, X's and O's is a modern song. I've forgotten what the note, who sang it. And so is Something in the Water, which I just heard on the radio. Got to learn them. I've got to learn them. If I don't learn them, the band's in here and they're all looking at me like, like this. And if they're looking at me like this, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get kicked out. <laughs> There's motivation for you. Hey, Stephen, I'll be in your band. Let's do something together, hey? Hey, wouldn't that be something if we could have an online band here? 24, what have we got? 23 piano players. <laughs> so there's motivation. 
you're in a group. You've got to know the stuff. There's a story with uh, Ringo turned 80 recently. Ringo Starr from the Beatles. And um, there's a story that uh, he and John Lennon and uh, George probably were sitting in the backyard of, of, uh, the, of, of their homes and um, the phone rang. And they said uh, to each they looked at each other and went, don't answer it, don't answer it. It's Paul, it'll be Paul. He'll want us to go in and work. There's motivation for you. In every group, I suppose, there's one person. I remember when Dad was doing all this stuff. Um, all this community work around the joint. There'd always be one person who really gets it all going and all the others will sort of follow. Um, that's, that's great. Um, are you that person? Maybe you are. Um, so that's a motivation too. Why am I getting up in the morning here? What the hell? I mean, it looks like a beautiful day outside. It's supposed to be raining. It uh, looks like it could rain later. I mean, why, why am I getting up now to in the, in the dark, pitch a night, to, to do this little broadcast? Is it just to fulfill my ego? Maybe. Um, is it to... No. It's because I love what I do, and I'm trying to take what I love to the world. And I'm, I'm building that through the technology of Zoom, cameras, my ability, and my motivation is the spreading the love of music and, of course, an alternative um, income stream for my business so I can keep doing what I'm doing so I don't have to go out there and get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, there you go. And so it's uh, my motivation is I know if I just lie in bed, Judith might be hanging, it might have got, taken the time to get on the internet and I'm not even going to bother to get out of bed to go and say hello. That's pretty, that's not good, Daryl, that's not good. My motivation is to get up and do that. But is that going to help you? Is that going to help you motivate to practice more? Okay, here's another, here's another reason. <clears throat> another way to motivate. Mrs. Jones, we've got a thing going on. I don't know the song, it just reminded me of it. <laughs> um... I forgot what I was going to say now. Well, motivation to, um, to uh, your motivation to get up and do things. I've forgotten where we were. Okay, so here we go. Here's one motivation. You're in a band. You have to pull your weight. That's motivation. You're either in the band or you're out of the band. And if you're in the band, you've got to do your job. That's motivation. I've got on the wall over there a certificate, Depart Diploma in Music Education. The only way I got that was through my discipline to practice every morning to get it. That's my motivation. Then I got a job as a school teacher and I taught classroom music for seven years. Um, that was my motivation. Okay. I'm going to give you another motivation, just a fun one now. Um, every six weeks, we have a music soiree online. Now, France has been in this. Uh, who else has been? Stephen's been in it. Nancy and Chris have been in it. And they're all online, I think. And what you do is this. You video yourself playing a little two and a half minute piece of music. That's it. Send it to me. And I put it, we, we have a little community online concert here. And on Zoom, we all look at each other and go, hey, oh, that was fun, blah, blah, blah. It's not meant to be smart. We're not supposed to be playing great big, you know, concerto things. It's just a little bit of fun. Uh, and if you want to be part of that, there's some motivation for you. Get your, get your, get your video ready because it'll be on in about three weeks' time. Maybe four weeks. I can't remember now. Maybe three. Um, so you've got three weeks to get a video to me to go on this soiree. There's some motivation for you. Ta-da!
speaking of the Beatles. <clears throat> love, love, love. That song, All You Need Is Love, one of the great pop songs of all time, would not have existed. Would not have existed if it wasn't for something that happened in 1967. The world, for the first time, and I've, I've mentioned this before on the show, so I apologise to people who've heard the story before. Uh, the, the, for the first time, the world could see what was happening on the other side of the world through technology like this. It was black and white. And each country was asked to sort of submit a little program. You know, I think in America they played a basketball, a ba baseball game or something. And in England, they decided to ask the Beatles to write a song. So they did. And the song was, All You Need Is Love. Bump, a little message for the world in 1967 on that uh, world program. How about that? Now that song would not have been written at all if the Beatles weren't asked to do that. No motivation to write that song. It would, it would not have happened. They were given a job. They did it. Motivation. So I'm giving you a job. Do a, do a soiree video, okay? Ta-da! <laughs> I'm, bra I'm prattling on a lot. Um, I should read a few of these things here. We've got 28 watching. That's great. Uh, why is it Mrs. Jones instead of Mrs. Smith or Browner? <laughs> Judith! Uh, Monday, drum roll! Jonesy for a cigarette. Yeah, right, okay. <clears throat> now, um, motivation. This is important. If you don't get, if you don't have motivation, you don't, um, nothing happens. We just go around in circles. We, we wake up every day, every day. Look, it's, I'll show you outside, see if you can see. Right. It's getting lighter now. I don't know if you can see that out there. Can you? Yeah. There's the sky. Oh, there's a bird. What's that? Ah, uh, that's a currawong. That's a currawong up there on the TV antenna. I love birds. I go out and play golf, and the birds make all sorts of sounds. Um... The magpie is very chromatic. It goes... You can do that on the piano. Magpie. Kookaburra. <laughs> Butcher birds. Galahs. There's motivation or inspiration. Inspiration from nature. Nature gives you inspiration. And in, uh, nature's given inspiration to the, the great composers over the years. Of course it has. You know, there's just, you know, Swan Lake. I don't think he was thinking about frogs. Maybe he was. Motivation. We need motivation. I um, hope I'm motivating you a little bit. Now, if you, let's let's go through this. <clears throat> okay, you're not going to be a you know you know you've you've turned seventy and you've decided to take up the piano, but you need motivation. Six thirty. Six thirty was my motivation. I'd look at the clock. There's a clock up there. Can you see it? That. This clock here, and my son gave to me. That clock. Next week, that we're at six thirty. That clock is my motivation. At six thirty, I got to get off my backside, get on my get my tracky dackies on, and get down there and do my walk. Get back into it. Get fit again. Why also my motivation is I've told you about it. Now, if I say something to somebody, I like to do it. 
I don't, I don't want to be one of these people that just says things and it just disappears. So I've committed myself now. Maybe you'd like to come along with me if you got the motivation. <laughs> Am I giving you motivation? Next, not next week, the week after. Now there, uh, there's going to be things in the road. There's, things will happen which are going to stop you from doing, from achieving your goal. Um, look, if you're a family man, you might have kids. The kids are stopping you all the time. You're practicing away, you know. What? 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 Problems, you've got to take them to school or something like that. Um, okay, that interrupts your practice. Yeah, there'll be all sorts of things, you know. Um, your mum gets sick and you've got to go and visit her and, and that sort of gets you out of routine and things things like that. But you don't don't belt yourself up about it. Just You just get back into it again. <clears throat> So I got my 6:30 thing. That's going to help me. But what when it comes down to playing the piano, what 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 motivation have I got to actually practice? Well, to tell you the truth, um, it's really because I'm involved with other people. And when I'm when I'm involved involved with other people, I don't like, I don't like to let them down. I've got a jazz band. I'll I'll get that one. Where is it? So here's another here's another motivation. <clears throat> if you tune if you tuned in to what to, to learn uh, uh, tune, sorry about that, folks. The thousand videos on my website, go and check them out. And uh, this is what is this uh, piano fun number sixty five. I'm giving you some great tips here today, because without motivation, nothing happens. You won't go. You, you know, look oh, how many books have you bought and they sit on the shelf at home, yeah, and you've never read them. You bought them. The idea of reading that book was really good. So you go online, you buy the book. The book arrives, still sitting there. <laughs> You've got to be motivated a bit more than that. So here we go. Here's here's the jazz band I'm in. Look at this. We've got uh, 18 pieces, 19 actually. Um, I've got to know all these. I've got to know them. Some aren't very, I'm not, uh, uh, some are I'm a bit rough at, you know. The start of celebration is hard. I've got to practice that a lot. Even though I wrote that 30 years ago, it goes like this. That's the introduction. Then it goes. Off she goes, like a rocket. So that introduction is really important. If I stuff that up, I, it's sort of a weird intro. And if I get one chord wrong, I muck up the rest of it. It's really hard. I'm lost in the forest. So I've got to know it. And I just got to, it's just got to be under the fingers. Watermelon Man's number two. Watermelon Man's number two. And it starts off with this little chunky thing. I don't know whether to play golf or not, folks. Out that window, it's fantastic. Out that window, there's big puffy storm clouds on the horizon, and we're supposed to have rain. Am I, is it going to be one of those moments where I go down and have about nine holes and the final nine holes I get soaked? Do I take that chance? <laughs> Am I motivated enough to get in the car and go down and hit, hit a few balls? Um, yeah, so I've got to know this stuff. If I don't, the band are going to look at me like this. And who likes who wants that? And as I say, if you're a piano player, you're self-sufficient. You sit at home on your own a lot. And sometimes it's hard to be motivated when you're on your own. You know? So maybe maybe you could think about getting involved with somebody, another musician around the place. Somebody who likes to sing, maybe. You know? And you can accompany them singing. Or then maybe they play a clarinet or a flute. 
and you just see them once a week for for an hour. That's it. Maybe you could do that, and um, and you make that time each week, and you do that. That's your little clarinet thing that you do. Um, maybe maybe the kid next door has shown interest in your piano. But they haven't got a piano. Why not offer them a half hour lesson for in exchange for, you know, um, I don't know, some veggies out of the back garden or something. If, if you don't want to do the money thing. I'm not suggesting you do things for nothing, um, but you know what I mean? And that way you're going to get joy from showing someone something that you love like me. And if you do it, if, they, if they're really that interested, uh, they'll give you back. They'll give it back to you. When you see them play that little piece that you taught them, that's pretty damn good stuff. So that's motivation. And because you've done that, you'll sit down and want to play a little bit more yourself. The whole theme of today is because of you, Stephen McGibbon. Yes, you because of you, baby. See the, mm, the see the neon lights are bright on Broadway. They say there's a chick in the air. When I'm walking down the street too high, ba da da da, ba da da, da 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 no. Okay, so if I'm going to sing this in a band, I'd have to say it's too high in the key of F. So I'd have to play it in a lower key. Let's try it in E flat. They say the neon lights are bright on Broadway. They say there's always near magic in the air. Here we go. But well, you're going to have a good time. That's not too high. La da da da, la da da. Okay, so it's not too high, not too low. Key of E flat. Now, if I can't play it in E flat, what am I going to do? Two things. One, give up. Do something else. Two, get motivated. <laughs> get motivated and learn the bloody thing. You know, do it. Just learn it. Um, oh man, we're way over time, I've got to go. Uh, sorry, for, uh, I, I, um, uh, I've gone over and over and over and over. So, um, oh listen, the, um, I haven't read any of the stuff, I'll look, I'll look at it later. Should I go out? I'll have to, I have to, because it's going to rain the rest of the week. Thank you for watching folks, um, and don't forget, <clears throat> I'm going to give you the, um, the keyword. The keyword is, um, oh Mr Bean, how about that, Mr Bean. Mr. Bean is the is the word, uh, two words actually for a fifty percent discount on anything in the song shop and the on the website. Uh, Mr. Bean, you don't have to spell it correctly. Just M R will do. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, folks. And if you if you get something from my videos, I really appreciate you um, helping me out and donating. Uh, last week we had a few do people donate. Thank I want to thank you for that to those people. I won't read your names out, but thank you. Thank you very much, and I'll see you. Um, I'll see you next time. Okay. Hope you got something out of that, and you're now motivated, motivated to practice and get out there and play. Join a band. Get the kid next door. Teach them chopsticks. Um, you know, if somebody's birthday's coming up, put yourself forward to play Happy Birthday for it. That's a goal. That's just getting motivated. Yeah. Um, you know, if there's someone down the road who plays bagpipes. <laughs> okay, folks. Enjoy your day. Bye. <laughs> Hooray. Bye. See you, friends.